Um, so I'm just here today to give you a bit of a presentation sort of on the games industry, different roles, um, you know, different ways to get in. And I thought I'd tell you just a little bit about my career in the games industry and you know, how I got in. Uh, then a bit about finding jobs in the industry and a bit about our courses as well. So if you have any questions at any point through the presentation, um, feel free to put in and I'll kind of answer that as we're going along. Um, or if you kind of wanted to find out a bit more about anything I'm talking about, let me know and we'll have a bit of a chat about that. Okay, uh, can everyone see this? Um, maybe. I'll see how we do. Okay, so um, I mean, I'm Gabrielle Kent. I Before I came to Teesside, I started teaching at Teesside um, about three or four years ago. Uh, before that, I worked in the computer games industry, um, working on kind of PC, Xbox, and PlayStation titles, mainly racing games. And you will find that practically every games company in the Northeast works on racing games. Um, are you all kind of aware of the companies around the Northeast? Or, you know, who's about? And in Middlesbrough, you've got um, Atomic Planet. Um, there's quite a few graduate startup companies as well around Middlesbrough um, who are doing really well actually considering they're set up straight from uni without games experience. A few of them are working on some Xbox Live Arcade stuff now for, um, uh, for Blitz and that kind of thing. So yeah, see in Middlesbrough you've got Atomic Planet, you've got Halch, uh, Third Dimension Creations, um, Twisted Studio have just set up and Philanthropy, so there's quite a few. Actually if you look in Edge magazine, this month's edition, um, or next month's edition should actually have an article um, about all of the companies in that area. And then up in Newcastle you've got the company I worked for, which is Midway, it used to be called the Pitbull Syndicate. They worked on all the test drive racing game series, um, Demolition Racer, uh, most recently LA Rush, and they're currently working on a Vin Diesel based driving game, uh, Wheelman, for the film that's about to come out. And then you've got Reflections, who did Destruction Derby, um, Stuntman, uh, Driver. Uh, new Technics, again, make a lot of racing games. Uh, Venom, Venom, who did a bit of outsourcing on the programming side for Bioshock and Prey. Uh, virtual Playground, Near Mortals. So you can see there's quite a few about um, in this area, so that, you know, it is quite a large kind of computer games industry in this particular area. Um, so I started out, well, my, I did my, after my A levels, I did a foundation course in graphic design then went on to do a graphic design degree specialising in illustration at Teesside. Um, so while I was studying that, uh, it must have been about 1996, I did a placement um, at, it was called Acclaim Teesside at the time, the guys that ran that are now running Atomic Planet in Middlesbrough. Um, and I worked on Shadow Man and Forsaken, just doing bits of concept art and stuff, and I thought, wow, this is, this is the industry I want to be in, because it's just such a fun atmosphere. It was the kind of job where you're never kind of watching the clock and you know, thinking, oh God, I wish it was five o'clock. Um, because there's just so much to do and it's just um, just such a kind of fun, young industry. Uh, so I really enjoyed that. I was working on textures and concept art there. And then I kind of aimed my degree projects towards getting a job in the industry. So for my final year project, I did a whole series of character designs and environment designs. Um, so after my degree, um, I was offered some jobs further away, but I wasn't too sure about the companies, and I kind of wanted to stay around this area. Um, so I started working freelance as a concept artist, and you know, did concept art for kind of a number of um, a number of companies and comics, um, game studios. Uh, but working freelance is great; you can do really well at it, and make, there's the potential to make a lot of money. But then there's also the potential that you don't know if you're going to have money coming in from one month to the next. Um, so I wanted something a bit more permanent, which is when I got a job at the Pitbull Syndicate. Um, so I started there, what did I start as? I started as a texture artist. Um, so mainly working in Photoshop, just creating the You all know about texturing and 3D modeling, you're all doing that already. Okay, so I'd be I was just creating the textures for the 3D artists, and then kind of moved into 3D modeling and texturing myself, then pushed to do a bit of interface design, a bit of concept art, level design, game design. So you find once you're in a game studio, you can quite often sort of push into different areas and different roles sort of once you're in there. Um, so I decided to take a break from that, so I've gone into teaching for a while. Um, I kind of got sick of, on my sixth driving game, I decided I needed a little bit of a break. Um, so now, kind of while I'm teaching at the uni, I'm kind of working as a producer on just various little projects that are going on in Middlesbrough. Um, so that's just a bit about my background. Does anyone have any questions yet, or should we just launch into... Okay, 
Some of this was cobbled together uh, just yesterday, so excuse me if there's any mistakes in it, I'll correct any as I go along. Okay, so I thought we'd look at roles within a studio. Um, are you all kind of aware of the makeup of game studios? or? Okay, well I'll go through them anyway. So you've got your artists, um, programmers, animators, designers, audio gurus who won't necessarily be placed within the studio. It might be an external company that uh, the studio would use. Um, your producers who you'll have an ex internal producer and then an <coughs> external producer who's assigned to the company by the publishers. And then you've got your Q&A, your testers. Um, so your artists, I'll actually rather read through this, I'll go into the roles in a bit more detail. 